Hey everybody, it's Isaac again from Cambridge Foods by Isaac, and I just wanted to make a quick tutorial video to actually show you how to navigate the online store if you decide to make a purchase. Now right now we're taking a look at my Facebook fan page for Cambridge Foods by Isaac, and if you follow my cursor here, you'll notice that I have a button that says Shop Now. So once you click on that, I'm going to take you now to the um, screen of the online store. So just hold on a moment and I will resume with the online store up. Okay, and here we are at the Cambridge online store where you can make a purchase. Now before I show you how to navigate this, what I want to do is take a moment to actually go to my YouTube channel and show you how to access this store from there. So we will get right back to this. Just hold on one moment while we switch over to my YouTube channel. Okay, and here we are at my uh, YouTube channel. And um, this is set up a little bit differently than the Facebook page was. But you'll notice here um, the welcome message is showing in the middle right here. And for every YouTube video I make, I always, in my comments, put links either to the Facebook page or also this link right here will take you to the Cambridge site. And uh, also, if you are on my YouTube channel, we have the subscribe button right here. Make sure you do that so you can get all of my videos as they come out. So that's it for this section. Let me actually now take you into the online store so you can see what that's all about. Okay, guys, so now here we are at the actual Cambridge site where you can actually purchase your products. So if you look at this site, you notice there's a lot of white space around on either side here. And believe it or not, this is actually zoomed in. So this uh, company is redoing their website completely. This is the old site that we're using in the meantime. So this is how we begin. First of all, you notice here it says Welcome Guest. Um, so what you can do is actually create an account for yourself, and you'll need to do that if you want to uh, place an order. So let's just start there. So we'll click Create an Account. And basically, you fill in all your information, first name, last name, email, etc. Pretty self-explanatory. And uh, let's just do a, uh, a dummy one here. We'll do a test one. Test, 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 uh, test, dot net, I guess. I just want to move through this to uh, get you uh, acquainted with how this works. So we're not going to do any company names, anything like that. And one, test lane. Okay. And I'll just put in my zip code. And Fall River. And let's see. Fall River. I'm in Fall River, Massachusetts. So, whatever the case. Okay. Phone number. We'll just do a uh, fake one 555 555 and one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And I will have to call them at Cambridge, let them know I made this dummy account just so I could do a tutorial video. So let's click continue. Let's see if this actually goes through. Okay, great. Your account has been created. And now you are logged in. So now what you want to do is actually start shopping you click the continue button and you notice here now it has your name so if we look over here on the side we have our categories this is where we get our stuff now there's a lot to choose from and feel free to explore them all what I specialize in uh, what I sell locally to my uh, friends family people who know me is called the Cambridge food for life so let's take a look there the food for life drinks are right down here you notice for each of these categories, if they actually have something, there's a number next to them. Um, one thing with Cambridge, they come out with new products. They discontinue other ones. So you'll always know what's current by looking for these little numbers on the sides of the uh, different items here. Now, again, the uh, site is kind of old and they're working on new pictures. You notice here where it says uh, Food for Life Cappuccino Case, you notice that it's in a tube container. 
Cambridge doesn't make those anymore. This is what you'll get. If you look here, the Food for Life chocolate, it's all in pouches now. So just be aware of that. Like I said, they're going to be working on their new, uh, their new stuff. So basically, you have your products here. You have your price. Um, you can either choose a case of, an, of something or you can get just a pouch of something. And uh, let me just check out a couple of other products for you because with the Cambridge program, there's also soups that you can have. And you notice here again, there's no pouches. It's all canisters. These are old photographs. They're going to put new ones up, especially when they get the new site going. But they have soups available. One thing people really like are the bars and you've seen if you're following my youtube channel you've seen me do reviews on all the different types of bars well here they are so anyway let's just click on something buy now and um, right here you can type in the quantity of how many you have so let's say you want five so we'll type in five and just touch update and it will update your quantity okay and then if you want to continue shopping you can do that and let's see here um, this section here we actually have some options if you're just testing the waters and you want to see if this will work out well for you you have some options you can do what they have here the two week success plans and um, you see here this is the food for life one and this is the original Cambridge formula now you can do your own research on the site and, and learn more about the uh, original. Um, one big difference is that the original focuses less on soy and more on the whey protein, whereas the Food for Life formula is more soy instead of the whey protein. Um, they're both wonderful tasting. There's a huge fan base for both of them. Uh, I will say that if you choose the original and you're doing what's called sole sourcing, which means you're not having any food at all, except for these Cambridge products, you would have to do four servings uh, under the original formula to get the same nutrition that you get from the three servings of the Food for Life. So anyway, uh, this is an option, the Food for Life. You can actually click on it and get a nice description of what it is, what it contains. And um, because my screen is a little cut off here, it's not showing properly, just give me a moment to readjust the screen. Okay, so I've adjusted the screen. You notice here the sizes of things have changed quite a bit. Now we're actually using the full screen. Um, and again, this isn't going to happen with everything. This is just because we're doing these um, success kits. So there's a 30-day plan. There's also what we see here, the two-week Food for Life weight loss success plan. So with that, you get to pick three flavors. I'm just going to leave them at cappuccino default right now. That's all we need to do. And um, also... At the bottom here, there are some other products. If you want to look into some other things here, you can feel free to do that and add that to your cart as well. So let's say we have this here. And uh, you notice over here, you've got the total. And uh, this is your shopping cart. You've already got something in there. So let's just click Add to Cart, and we'll continue. OK, so you see now with the widescreen how small this actually is. So OK, so let's say we've got everything we want. We're ready to check out. So we just click check out. And you notice here, because you created an account, you already have the information here, the shipping address. And you will have your options here to pick shipping. So standard shipping rate, uh, which is UPS ground. Uh, then they have, of course, other options. And yes, shipping does cost. UPS is not cheap. So be aware that whatever you're finding for the product price, you're going to have to add the shipping to it as well. Okay, so we have this here. Let's click continue. Okay, and this is where you get a chance to review. Again, you have your items here in your shopping cart. You can review your address make changes if you need to, and here you can select your payment method. You can do credit card, but you can also do check and money order. So I'm going to do that because we're not making a real order. And uh, let me just type in a message here for the people who do the order so they know that we're not really making a real order here. This is a test order for video 
demonstration purposes. Please do not ship this order. This is only a test. Thank you. And I'll put my name on it so they know I've already been doing some testing today. Okay, so we click continue. And again, you have your order confirmation here. You can review everything you need to. Uh, it's got your products here. It's got your delivery address, your shipping method, your billing address. And you've got your total here. And if you're paying by check, it'll give you instructions for how to make the check payable and where to send it. And once you do that, you click Confirm Order. And you get your successful message here. Your order has been processed. It tells you it takes about two to five working days. And please notify me of updates on products. If you want to, you can actually tick these to uh, get updates if they make other um, changes to the product, if they come out with some new things. And that's pretty much it. So your order is there. Let's click Continue. And now, if you look up here, it's hard to see. It, the way the website's designed, these words get grayed out. But this is how you log out and uh, do some other things here. Your cart right now is empty. You notice here you have an order history. So if you want to see what you got last time, maybe you liked it, you want to do the exact same thing again, it's already here for you, good to go. But if we go over here to my account, click on that, and you're going to see here it'll give you your order. So you have the date you made the order, your order number, your total, things of that nature. And you can do some other things on here too. This basically is all we need from this page. So once you've done everything you need, you can click Log Off. And you're good to go. You've signed out. Now, aside from shopping, you can look up other things on this site. If you look at the top here, you can get some recipes, which there are some. Um, I'm actually going to be doing many more YouTube videos and things. Actually, some will be using the actual Cambridge products, too. It's not just going to be about uh, healthy eating. But you see here, there's plenty to look through. Things from modifying your soups, uh, cooking with the oatmeal, just all kinds of great stuff. If you need some encouragement, aside from my videos, you can look up some stories of other people. And you click over here, I think. Let me see. Oh, nope. Okay. This is just a poem. I thought that was actually somebody uh, sharing their experience. But you can click over here, success stories, exercise tips, all kinds of things to help you get started. And if you want more information about picking the weight loss plan, you have things here, how to choose the right weight loss plan for you, physical activity, you know, we're all different. Um, some of us can do more, some of us need to do less, like me. Um, but then we have here some great things. You look at the frequently asked questions, they have them in categories, general, medical, usage, and physician. If you want to share this with your doctor, which you definitely want to do, um, these are some great things that you can share with your doctor if they have concerns. So I don't want to go any longer with this video. I think I've taken enough of your time, but I hope that is a good thorough explanation of how to navigate the site so you can start buying these Cambridge products and share your own success story with me. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to my videos, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.